I am going to bring you an organization video. And I, um, for one, want to apologize that almost all my intros are in my vehicle. <laughs> but um, I'm really busy and I just need to, when I have a moment to film these intros or videos, um, I just take it when I have it. So. Um, so yes, I am going to bring an organizational video to you and I know this, my channel is, um, documenting my weight loss journey on Weight Watchers. Um, but I feel like in life, um, to be able to be successful, especially, um, on a weight loss journey is to set yourself up for success. So, um, having the spaces in your home organized help alleviate stress and especially like today I'm bringing you a freezer organization this um, allows you to be able to um, have the tools and um, you know the the space to be able to put your food and to set up you know your meal plan and you know if everything's organized and ready to go then you you know are setting yourself up for a successful week so um, I have um, two freezers and one of them being on my refrigerator. I, mean, I have a side-by-side -side refrigerator as you'll see. So um, the one that's in my kitchen is my side-by-side -side refrigerator. That one is primarily used for um, lunches for my kids. I do have two teenage boys and so a lot of the stuff that I keep in the kitchen freezer is things that they can pull for lunches with on the weekends um, or you know in the summertime right now they're not in school so um, and, you know, I need to have things available for them and I just pick up things that they like and I know they will eat. Um, I also um, put we have you know of course ice packs those kind of things but I also have in there what um, I'm gonna have need for dinners for the week. So. Um, so that's what you'll see in that one. And, and then I also have a deep freezer in my garage and that's where of course I keep my bulk items, um, in there. So I am going to, the process that I'm going to use is I'm not set up, um, equipment wise to be able to set up and show you as I organize. I am going to show you first, um, my, what it looks like before, which is not pretty. That's why I'm doing this. And then I will show you after I pull everything out, you know, lay it all out on the table and so you can see exactly what's all in there. And some of the things I've been really lazy lately as I've been doing my, you know, grocery shopping. I've just been putting everything in that freezer instead of putting it in my deep freeze. But my deep freeze is so unorganized. I didn't have a system for it. Well, I did have a system for it, but it's not working. So I have to create a new system and that's the point of today. So I will pull everything out and then show you what it looks like with nothing in it and all the stuff I need to put back out and how I separated everything, what's going to stay in that freezer and what is going to go out to the deep freeze. And then I will put it all back in and I will show you what it looks like then. And then I will take you out to my deep freezer and my deep freezer is out in my garage. I hopefully can get enough light by opening the door. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to show you after I pull everything out because it's going to I have to figure out what I'm going to do with all the stuff as I pull it out. <laughs> so, um, we'll fi I'll figure out what, how that's going to look. I'll probably just leave it in the, I have recycled bags in there as you'll see, and I'll probably just throw everything in those and then just as I organize. Um, and then again, so I'll show you it empty and I'll show you with everything back in. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to be doing quite a few organizational videos as I organize my home this summer. Um, this summer I, well, through July, through the end of July, I have three days off a week, so I am taking advantage of that and just getting things organized around my home, so I do have less stress and can focus on making um, healthy choices. And you know, this whole journey to healthy that I'm doing is, you know, not only for weight loss, but it's also um, making my whole self healthy, and that. I believe having um, structure and not really structure, but having, you know, organization, having um, things being easy around your home is less stress, which is, you know, stress is not good for your mind. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoy this video and um, let's take you right into it. Bye.
Okay guys, so here is the before. Yes, really, really bad. I've let it go. So, <clears throat> I am going to show you what it looks like after I pull everything out. So I'm going to pull everything out, put it on my table, and then I will um, show you it empty and show you all the stuff on the table. And then I'm going to um, figure out what stays in this, this freezer and what stay, what's going to go out to my deep freeze. And then I will put it all back in and show you how I organized it all. Okay, so it's all emptied out. Okay, that's dirty. I'm going to clean all this stuff out. I just left that in there because that will stay in there. And let me show you everything out of there. So here we go. So we have, so over here, so we have lots of ice packs because there's three of us that take um, lunches to work. So we need to have those and there's actually more than that. My son's at work right now. Um, so this is all my fruit for like there's some bananas and I have some fruit there for smoothies and I make like iced tea with fruit in it. Um, so this stuff over on this side, all over here is going to stay in the freezer. I like to keep, the things I like to keep in there are um, things like breakfast things, things that my kids can easily throw in the microwave or oven for lunch, um, things I use for my lunches, um, anything that I'm going to be using for dinner this week, which I haven't. I do know my meal plan, but I don't have it listed out yet what I need, so actually I will have, I'm going to put everything in the deep freeze, and then after I get everything organized, I will pull out my stuff for the, for dinners for this week. Um, I also like to keep um, things that I might need for my work lunches, and then, so everything over on this side, pretty much from here, all the way over here, we got the deep, the deep freeze. So here's an example, like I, when I went grocery shopping like two weeks ago, I got some of these vegetables and I did end up using them that week which I planned on but you know things change with your meal plan and instead of putting them out in the deep freeze I just threw them into this freezer so and that's why it just got out of control same as and you know like here and you know, all this stuff this is all stuff that should have went out to the deep freeze to begin with and here's another example of why it's good to be organized so you can save money on your grocery budget is to not end up with, I think I have eight, nine, no, I think I have eight things of lunch meat. This is lunch meat my family likes. And um, so I knew this week we will be having, we, um, my family will be having club sandwiches. And so I did buy quite a few things of lunch meat, but I already had, as you can see, like four or five of them. So if I had actually, you know, and this was deep down into the freezer, and if I had actually had checked it, then I would have known that I already had them in there. So, so some of the things I like to freeze are these are English muffins, and these actually I'm going to leave out because I'm going to be using these for my meal prep um, this week when I make breakfast sandwiches. So I will take those out, but I have things like, you know, the tortillas I use for my wraps, all the different ones you fold it bread so I like to keep these in this freezer that way when I'm making my I always make my lunch the night before for work so that way they are there so if I use the last one that's in the um, bread box then I can just pull one out or if I don't have any there I can write it down that I need some um, another thing I like to keep in this freezer is when I open a package so and then there's leftovers so like this was um, a package of turkey burgers and I um, since um, me and my youngest are the only ones that eat these. My husband is allergic to poultry, so he can't eat the turkey and chicken. So that's why you'll see them, see my stuff portioned out into one serving. And then my oldest, he doesn't. Sometimes he'll eat some of the stuff that I eat, but not, typically not. So, um, whenever I get these four pack of turkey burgers, I just split them up into, in, and I just put them in individual baggies and then put them in this um, bag right here. So then I can just pull them out as I need them. So I like to keep those in there because sometimes I'll I'll just fry one up the night before and take it for lunch the next day or just last minute dinner. But anytime I open a package um, and separate it out, I like to leave it in this freezer so I know it's in there. The same with this. I only used 
one or two. I don't know how many come up in these packages. I think one of these, and so I put the rest of it in this freezer, so I knew it was there. Um, this is some bacon that is, was left over from a dinner since I don't eat this type of bacon. I just eat turkey bacon or chicken bacon. Um, we don't ever use the whole package. So I just, and I put it in this freezer, but I, and I try to put it somewhere where I know it's there typically. Um, these, for, of course, breakfast stuff I like to keep in, in the freezer. And actually this is going to be for a dinner, so, but I'll just leave it in there anyway. Um, these are for my lunches. And this typically I would have put in my deep freeze, but um, actually I think I have enough. To, I am going to put this in my deep freeze because I do have enough portions of chicken to, for my dinners this week. Um, so this is just like a breakfast sandwich. Um, these are turkey burgers, I mean chicken burgers, I'm sorry, that I like. Um, but this is a full package. So I'm going to put this in my deep freeze because I already have one open package. So I use these for lunch or for dinner. So the same with all these different um, ones for veggie burgers that I have. Let me see another. I haven't tried this one yet, but um, I like to keep these kinds of things in there for lunches. Um, quick, quick and easy lunches or dinners. Um, another thing that I have typically, and this is like from a meal prep, this is English muffin pizzas. So I keep things like when I meal prep, I keep those in there. Easy, quick for lunch. Um, I don't, I hate chopping onions, so I buy, I do buy the frozen onions. So this is an open package. I did have an, um, an, like one or two unopened packages that should have been in my deep freeze. Um, and here's an example of why you need to Whenever you make anything, even if you think you're going to use it right away or you'll remember what it is, you need to mark what it is. This was obviously, I'm thinking, oh, I just remember what it is. This is stuffed peppers. I'm going to write it on there before I forget. I made um, stuffed peppers the other day, and this was the leftover filling, and so I put it in the freezer. So I need to mark that on there, but tip, mark it on there. <laughs> so, um, let's see, when my family had soda pots, different fries. When I open up the package, I just put the remainder that we didn't use inside of uh, the book, and I just leave those in the freezer too. That way, I can just grab them. Those are the fish sticks. Um, I buy the hot pockets for my kids in bulk. They don't eat them very often, so that's another. But I just buy them in the large packages, and I put them into these. And so this is the block. It's another meal prep. Um, and so then this is my chicken portions that I do. So whenever I buy the I'll always buy the large packages of chicken breast, and then I cut them down and put them into, as you can tell, it's four ounces, four ounce portions. So these are just like, for like fillets, like this week I'm going to have chicken cordon bleu, um, a Weight Watchers version, and so um, I will use, this is already ready to go for that. And then, this one, I think it's this. Sometimes I also cut up, which I think I've used all those. Sometimes I also, when I'm doing my bulk chicken, I get paid once a month, and so I try to buy whenever I, I try to buy my meat when I get my paycheck, and then throughout the month, I just, you know, buy filler things, as you see in my grocery hauls. But um, when I buy the big packages of chicken, a lot of times I will cut some up for um, grilled chicken salads, which I'm having two of those this week, but... Um, I don't must not have any, so I'll just have to take some of these and chop them up, which is fine. But um, usually I have a bag of portioned out and a bag of chopped up, you know, for chopped. But anyway, so that's all my chicken. So I do leave this in this freezer. That way it's easy to grab. Sometimes the night before I might decide, oh, for lunch the next day I want to have a grilled chicken salad. So then I can just pull it out and um, chop it up and grill it. So, and then the rest of the stuff is just... Like I said, this is just stuff for my kids for lunch. But see, I had, I had like, a thing of tur ground turkey breast, which should be in my deep freeze. Some turkey meatballs should be in my deep freeze. This is some um, grass-fed ground beef that my, my husband really likes, and that should have been in my deep freeze because we weren't, we weren't using it. So this is what came out of there. I'm going to go put the stuff in the deep freeze so it doesn't sit here for too long. And then I'm going to clean out my freezer real quick and put this all back and I will show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, I'm finished and that took me, let's see, 
11 minutes from start to finish, and that includes the time that I talked to you. So I ended up putting all my aspects up here. They don't tend to freeze very well in the door. Um, so I don't know, we'll see what happens with the ice cream, but with the ice packs, I think because there's so many and we had them all stacked up in here and in here, they just didn't freeze overnight. So I think I'm gonna, I've already been laying them up here, so this is where they've been. Um, on this shelf, I, oh, it's really like dark, you can't see very well. But anyway, here's like all my breads that I showed you, all my flatbreads and tortillas and those English muffins, and then here's my English muffin pizzas. So when I make my breakfast sandwiches, um, today or tomorrow for meal prep, I'll just put those on top up there too. So I know that's, you know, can just be, these two shelves basically are just kind of my, my stuff, my, um, Weight Watcher meal stuff. So, and here is all my portioned out chicken. This was, um, I couldn't put it over here. So this is some of the black bean veggie burgers. And then this is here, all the rest of the veggie burgers I use for lunches. This will be, um, for dinner this week a sandwich in case I want it. Now this shelf <clears throat> is primarily would be for my kids or husband if they want for lunches because that's all we don't eat those like TV type dinners for dinner they but it's something they can have for lunches especially now that it's summer and um, you know they're home by themselves or my oldest is since he's not working but he he can just grab it and doesn't have to worry about cooking anything and same with here there's just those hot pockets and there's some burritos in there. Um, we'll be having for this for dinner this week, so I'm thinking that since this shelf is so cleared off now, that whatever, um, when I do my meal prep for dinner this week, um, there's going to be things like, um, let's see, I know I'm making beef stroganoff and sloppy joes, so when I put those, make those, I'll put them in here um, for that, so that way I can just grab it and it's just right there, down there. And this, shelf, this does pull out like that. These are all those open packages of stuff I showed you, like the chopped onions, turkey burgers, the chicken sausages, bacon, um, there's the tater tots and french fries in there. So all that is in there. So then I know it's easy for me to see what we might have so before I go grab it out of the deep freeze. I always keep my um, frozen fruit here. So here's my bananas. Here's the open packages frozen fruit. If I had any unopened packages, they would be down the bottom. So I've always that's always worked out really well. So I'm really happy with this, so I just need to keep it up. So um, now I'll show you the deep freeze. And that one I think will take a little bit longer because I have to create a whole new system for it. And um, let me show you what I'm going to use first for that system. Okay, and as you can see, I didn't take the stuff out to the deep freeze because I thought I would just use these to take them out there. So. This, the system I'm using currently, which you'll see when I show you the before picture, um, I am using the reusable shopping bags, and I kind of had like a kind of color code system where I had the green bag I used for vegetables, the blue bags, I had two blue bags in there, one I used for chicken and pork and turkey, and the other one I used for like potato products or biscuits, frozen biscuits, things like that, and then the red bag I used for the red meat, and then everything else is just kind of thrown in there. So... Um, and that did not work. I mean, it was nice. I could just pull out the bag, go through it and see what I wanted, but I couldn't really, it just didn't look good. It didn't look organized. And then now it's just a huge mess because I got lazy about it. So um, I'm hoping that this might be a better system. I won't know till I try it, but so I got these at the Dollar Tree. I got four of them. There's three more right here. So I'm thinking the same system. I'll have one for like the red meat. I'll have to see first if these fit in there, if I can stack them the way I'm picturing it. I think that two of these will stack. So I'm um, cross your fingers. I hope it does. So if it does, then I like I said, I'll have one for red meat, one for the poultry products, um, one for vegetables, and then I'm thinking one maybe for the miscellaneous stuff. Or I'm thinking also, and I'm talking miscellaneous stuff. What I'm meaning is, I was like the lunch meat I showed you um, would be like oh like this you know Texas toast stuff. That actually could probably go on its own. Um, I buy butter. I buy usually three or four of those at a time. So like I said, I, I get paid once a month, so I try to buy like stock up on those types of things when um, when I see it on sale. That way, it's I have I don't have to buy it throughout the month. So there'll be butter in there. Um, what else is in there? I can't remember, but just those little things that ends up at the bottom, and I forget I have them. So, um, and then I'm also thinking one of these. 
actually might be good for um, when I make like beans in bulk um, and I always have them flat like, like this and like this actually would go in there so like this is a leftover you know so anything I have like that I make in bulk and then I can stack it up just like that inside there so I think I have some beans out there in the garage I'm not sure but um, anyway so these would you know stack nicely with that bulk type cooking when I do it so I think I'm hoping that like I'm saying I'm hoping that four of these fit in there so that is my plan so I think these would be good for um, ones to sit there and hold you know like the butter and things like that um, yeah we'll see we'll try if not, I can find some. These are really cute little baskets. I think I can find something. I know I can find something for them in the house. So I am going to take all of this and put them in there and take them out to the garage and I will show you the before picture. Okay, so this is my deep freeze. Hopefully it's not too dark. I opened up the garage door, so I think I got enough light in here. You can see I need to clean this out. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do all that today, but we'll see. Um, but as you can see, look, more lunch meat. Surprise, surprise. Lots more lunch meat. Even more down there. So, sorry, that's going to be kind of loud with all the crinkling. But, so this is what I was talking about. This is kind of the system I had. I had these bags in here. And I thought, you know, oh, this will work really good. But as you can see, it didn't. So, I am going to take all this out of here. Um, I don't know how big this freezer is. I don't know how to tell you, but... Um, I'm going to take everything out, and I'm going to see if my bins will fit. I think they will. Let's just do look. It's pretty, and I still got to go all the way down there. So I'm thinking they'll fit in here. So um, I'm going to get everything out, make sure the bins fit, then start filling them up, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Um, I will also let you know how long this took me. Like I said, I think this one will take me a little bit longer because I am trying to create a new system in here. Um, but let's get going okay so surprisingly this only took me 10 minutes also and that was even I did kind of scrape the size a little bit I didn't know how long that was going to take me I didn't allow myself a lot of time for this project today so let me show you what I ended up with um they do fit in there and they're just a bit wide to where they see they kind of overlap a little bit but I still think this is going to be a lot more functional for me than it was before so everything in here or I have like um, pork and then I have you know our um, beef and these are beef patties so I have all that in there I have some pork chops and I have some sausage and this is some stew meat that I had bought bulk um, and this one is all the poultry products so for chicken cells there's all my um, ground meat and I didn't, I only, I didn't have any bulk stuff in here. I wasn't sure, so it's just I only have just this one um, of the turkey, of the stuffed pepper filling. So I have my chicken burgers. So I think I put the meat down on the bottom because they would be obviously heavier. So that way they're right here. I don't have to move them. The only ones I have to move on top are the ones I'll show you next. Um, I put the 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 garlic toast fit really good right there. I had a couple of things of pie crust. I had some turkey bacon I didn't know I had. I had some regular bacon I didn't know I had. So those fit nicely there. I only ended up using one of these little bins. I see I had two butters I didn't even know I had. So I think this would be nice for small packages like that with butter. I had a couple things of tortillas. I have a, had a couple of things of sourdough French bread. So that's there and this slides nicely over here now that I cleaned some of that off. I just lined up all my lunch meat. I did it by like kinds. So there's beef, turkey, ham, and chicken in here. So all of that's just lined up here. Um, I have the other lunch meat. So this is that's just our lunch meat, overflow lunch meat. Um, that's not, of course, in the refrigerator. So let me go and show you. So these are the other bins right here. So I'll have to. Um, here, I'll have to turn off the camera for a second to put those in there and show you how they fit. Okay, so like I said, you know, see they do overlap a little bit, but I think this is still going to be really functional. So in here, I have all vegetables. I see how many I have, and it's just, it's because I, um, I don't know why that was weird. My camera froze up. So, you know, I have a lot in here, and that's, that's because I wasn't looking to see what I have. But like I said, it's good. That means I don't have to buy any for a while. And in this bin, I have, like, biscuits and then any potato products we have. So, 
yeah, I think, so now all I have to do to get to my meat, I just, you know, merely have to pick that up and I can see my chicken and then I can set off to the side and then I'll need two hands to lift this vegetable because there's so much in there. But, um, yeah, I could just lift that up and look and see what beef I have. And yeah, I think this is going to be really good. I think this is going to be a lot better than the, um, system I was using before. And yeah, I hope this helps everybody out a little bit. Anybody else who is trying to figure out a deep freeze organization, if you have a system that works even better than this, let me know. I would be interested in um, hearing about that. And I think my next video I'm going to be doing, probably not today, um, is um, my pantry. And I just have a small pantry area. So I will be organizing that sometime in the next couple weeks. So I hope you all enjoy this video. Um, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so, and I look forward to sharing again um, in my next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.